I made a modular wall covering. There it is. This is a, um, a little bit of an interesting episode. I am going to be making a wall covering. It's not something I make um, very often. Um, I'm deciding to redecorate a wall in my office as a better backdrop for classes being taught behind me. But I wanted to make a hexagon pattern so that all these can, all these different sections can form together. And I'll have these um, in a few different materials, some out of wood, some um, out of probably black chalk paint so I can write on it with chalk. And then some of them I'm going to have um, metal sheeting that I'm going to fold over that I can use that as a um, dry erase surface as well. And this is going to be fun. Let's start cutting. I'm going to get my actual hexagon tiles on a crosscut slit that I'm going to um, screw the correct angle on so I could just put pieces down over and over again and um, get all my angles down. Um, but for this, I just want to basically cut my hexagon pattern out and, um, and just rip my boards down to a more manageable size. So safety first. So now I have a bunch of blanks that aren't square. They're all kinds of weird shapes. Um, but I'm going to be drawing out my, using my template to draw out the shapes on here. And to get pretty accurate cuts all the way around, I'm going to pick one side and use that side as the one reference side for all the hexagons. So I'm going to put one of the sides on there and then draw from there. Um, and then I'm going to use that as the bottom that I'm going to put on a board that I'm going to screw onto my crosscut slit here as a little bit of a shortcut um, that I'm going to set the board at 120 degrees for my table saw blade. I know there has to be a better way of doing this. I don't know it necessarily, but there's in woodworking about a dozen ways to do any given thing. And this is the first way that um, came into my mind and I don't foresee any problems which means I probably should be worried. Okay, wish me luck. I also have tons of scrap, little edges. I don't know what to do with them yet. Might use them for something. If you have any ideas, leave a comment down below. And maybe I'll use your idea for another episode. 
For right now, I think I'm just going to throw them in a box and put them underneath the counter and wait for inspiration to strike. Don't say a cutting board. I'm going to flip one of these over. I'm just going to draw a line. So that's where my edge is going to be. And I also want to make sure I put the same, the um, correct side of the filcro on each one too. So if I'm putting all the soft bits, the soft side, I'm sure that there's a term for that. I want to make sure the soft side goes down each time. I don't think it actually matters but as long as you're consistent. wrapped up pretty well. Um, I really like them. They're um, only 10 of them so they're kind of a, a small wall covering but they are enough to kind of cover up a section of my wall and give me a, a more interesting solution to writing, taking notes on my wall, something that I could see instead of having to have just a big old dry erase or chalkboard in my office and I really like having the kind of interesting pattern. I think I would love to have an entire wall of these, but um, 
that's a bigger project and may have to wait for um, another day, another office. I don't know, but for right now I'm happy with it.